So if you didn't watch my first video and you don't already know, tomorrow is Canada's um, federal election where everyone who is eligible to vote goes out and chooses their district representatives, otherwise known as members of parliament or MPs for short. Canada is typically known as a two party plus system, meaning two parties lead the race, one left wing progressive party and one right wing conservative party. In our case, we have the liberals led by current Prime Minister Justin Trudeau on the left, typically leading by adapting to changes in society, and the conservatives led by Andrew Scheer on the right, working on keeping things a little more traditional. The plus in this system are the other parties, either more left or more right than the dominant parties, looking to take their place as one of the main two parties. In this election, we have the New Democratic Party, otherwise known as the NDP, trying to be more left-wing and progressive than the Liberals. We also have the Bloc Quebecois party that has pretty consistent numbers up until about three, uh, a few years ago. Their platform was once a representation of Quebec nationalists with the goal of winning Quebec's independence from the Canadian government to become their own nation. But they have mellowed out in the last few years, which has also been reflected in their number of seats in the House of Commons as each election comes and goes. I won't really be focusing on this party and their platform as they only have candidates in Quebec, so the likelihood of their leader, Yves-Francois Blanchet, becoming our next Prime Minister is extremely low. We also have some fringe parties in this election, the Green Party led by Elizabeth May and the People's Party of Canada led by ex-Conservative Cabinet Minister Maxime Bernier, who left the party after losing the race for party leader to Andrew Scheer. Basically all you really need to know about his party and its platform is that they are extremely, extremely far right. He is looking to cut legal immigration numbers from 350,000 a year down to 100,000 a year and pretty much only wants to ensure that the only people who can immigrate to Canada are those with a healthy bank account and the right skills as quoted on their website. He's also looking to make birth tourism illegal, which means that any non-Canadian citizen who gives birth in Canada could face criminal charges. His platform and way of thinking have made him extremely popular with far-right extremists and has now been painted as the anti-immigrant and anti-feminist candidate in this election. He's currently pulling at 1.6. I had to change this because when I first wrote this, he was pulling at like 3.2 and a day later dropped to 1.6. So honestly, if you want to learn more about his stand on Aboriginal affairs, trades and taxes, you can check out his party's website, but he really doesn't stand a chance, so I'm not going to be spending the time talking more about his platform. Um, I will be diving in deep for the Liberals, the Conservatives, the NDP, and the Green parties with their each individual video, but I do want to say before I start that anyone can make a promise, and there really is no consequence of reneging on a promise after winning an election. So although a party's platform may sound like the exact changes you were looking to see in society, there's nothing stopping someone from not following through, as history has proven time and time again so it's really important like watch my videos do your research learn who the leaders are because if you can't trust the leaders and you can't trust what they say and history does repeat itself we'll see you in the next video